Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. HBO season one, episode one is called Ralphie. Room 104, let's get to it. Ooh, it's gonna be interesting. I know y'all felt the same way. I know y'all been trying to figure out every time you go on a trip and you're in a hotel room, what happened before? Who was here before? Did they really clean the room? What happened? What about this bathroom? The bathrooms always throw me. Interesting, let's get to it, y'all. So we're at room 104 at this motel. And at first we're looking through the blinds. Then we're looking out of the blinds. Bang, bang at the door. Someone lets us in. Female walks in, the guy in the room, he says, um, the older guy says he's leaving, uh, Ralphie's in the bathroom, and I'm like, um, sir, where are you going? Hold on, where are you going? And I'm at the same time, I'm like, well, who is Ralphie? Then there's this silence, this great silence, crickets. I'm saying to myself, leave, lady, leave, this young adult, leave, what are you doing there? At the same time, I'm like, dang, your loafers are cute. So the camera slowly advances. And we're walking towards this bathroom. This idiot sits on the bed, and I'm like, who's that comfortable to sit on the bed? Once you try to figure out what's going on, stand there, wait at the door area. Hey, come out. Let me let me talk. I'm introduce myself. If you're not coming, I'm gonna head on out. Um, so I'm saying to myself, is she a tutor or is she a two? Is Ralphie a grown man? Ralphie ends up being a little boy. I didn't know. She could have been settling that thing for all I knew. It is a motel at nighttime. So I knew Ralphie was a kid. You know how the the closet the closet had adult dress clothes and it had a young boys dress shirt, one dress shirt. So I was like, okay, it's a little boy. So the doors crack, then it slams all of a sudden right in our face. I'm like, yo, clue number two, get up out of there, girl. Get your loafers, truck on. Um, kid's voice says, sorry, I had to. And I'm like, okay, is this a recording? Because the voice just didn't sound, seem real. The voice seemed recorded. Like, hello, I'm my kid buddy. I'm my, you know, like some Chucky stuff. It was crazy. Um, The girl says, I'm mad. Come out so I can introduce myself. Um, I guess she's trying to do it properly. And she sits back on the bed. And I'm like, what are we doing, lady? Get it together. You don't have no home trainer? You don't have any good intuitions inside of you? The kid comes out in his pajamas and shuts the door. And I'm like, yo, what the heck just happened in that bathroom? Um... Who is Ralphie? And who is Ralph? Okay, he's bad. What's going on? What's going on? This pizza and popcorn and crackers situation, that's not very healthy. This is why you need to give your kids nutritious meals, give your kids fruits and vegetables and spring water so they don't act like that. With number Coca-Cola 7-Up pizza and popcorn and crackers with that fake cheese with the dipstick. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. How are you this comfortable with the, with the stranger's son is what I'm trying to figure out. So she's like, you know, your dad will be back soon or whatnot. And she, he says, he won't be back soon. And they're eating popcorn out of an ice bucket. I'm pretty sure that was an ice bucket. Um, No, you don't volunteer to, to, to talk with Ralphie. What are we doing? What are we doing right now? You're a girl. He doesn't like girls. Uh, Clue number four, get your tail up out of there. He doesn't like girls. And I'm like, girl, don't be foolish. What are we doing? Um, The little boy said, damn it. I said, oh, this little boy cussing. This little boy is cussing. I'm out. I'm talking about, I'll be like, <laughs> It would have been, my clothes would have been sitting in that bed because my whole body would have been in the parking lot. Quit playing. She should have left when he went back in the bathroom. Did she? No, this fool stayed. I'm talking about good drama, y'all. I said, text 911. Why you keep texting Bradley? Bradley don't care. This little boy come out in the cape growling, running straight at her in the beeline with his tidy whities on. And I'm like, no, what the, what, the, what is this? This little de demon child, this little demonic little boy. What's going on? I said, get out, you idiot. She didn't do it. He came back in pajamas, all calm, picking up pizza and stuff with his little Burton Ernie, uh, Burton Ernie striped shirts. And I'm like, you know what? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Some ain't right. Um, Bradley don't care. Bradley does not care. Why do you keep texting him 911? What are we doing? Um, what kid that you know? What kid do you know that sleeps in a perfectly made bed? His sheets were perfect here. I'm talking about the fold down. I don't know not one child that sleeps like that. Come on now, something ain't right. Come on, girl, Meg, get it together. She ain't buying no clues. I'm talking about, dang. He said, I want to talk about something. She's like, what? First of all, I'm not volunteering no conversation with no little boy. Not going to happen. Little girl either. No, it ain't my kid. I ain't talking to you. Mm -hmm. uh, he want to talk about S-E-X. Uh-uh. And he turned his head like, not the mama. You know, not the mama. The little the little baby. Not the mama. Dinosaurs, you know. I'm the, mama. I'm the baby. Gotta love me. That baby. That's what he looked like. He turned his head like, 
I said, oh my God, he gonna hit you with a frying pan. It was too much, man. So the mama, I'm saying to myself, where is the mama? Way before they brought up the mom. So I'm like, okay, his daddy crazy. Where is his mama? The mama gone. Had, uh, and he said, you want me to explain? Mm-mm, you, you don't have to tell me anything. Meg's stupid. So this is all BS, man. He need to, he told me he needs to talk about it and tell her what's the truth. Okay, so his mother hung herself because she needed to escape, but it wasn't real. Um, so what was real? Oh, I can't do it. So it's 10.30. She said it's 10.30, but it's really 10.27 on the T-Mobile phone. Shouts out to T-Mobile. They got a great CEO, that John guy. Magenta, T Magenta, whoop, whoop. Okay, so he was asleep in that perfectly made bed, right? That fool said, ting. He was right here. Crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Right in her face. Uh, so she she woke him up again. Somehow she woke him up again. Bang! He goes in the bathroom. Pajamas pajama Ralph, Ralph goes in the bathroom. You hear bang stuff falling. I'm just like yo, this is getting bananas, man. This crazy stuff is falling and it's, it's banging some more. And she calls Bradley, not 911. And I'm like no, no. That you hear in the bathroom, no. And I'm like mm 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 mm. Finally she calls 911. She says, uh, I'm at the Motel Off Parkway. I'm in room 104. And I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm just not going to go to a hotel anymore. It's going to have to be a brand new hotel every time. I just don't want to go behind someone anymore. Um, there's two of them that come out. And I said, oh, shoot, it's twins. So Pajama comes out. And the little boy with cape and tie white just comes out. And they're wrestling each other. They're fighting. And so Ralphie, the one with the cape, chokes the one with the pajamas. With the Burton Ernie, the Sesame Street pajamas. Chokes him with a pillow. Or smothers him with a pillow. And feathers. Feathers everywhere. Ta -ta -ta -ta, feathers everywhere. I'm like, it was crazy. And she's sitting there with blood dripping out both her nostrils. Looking crazy as I get out. The little feet stop kicking. So we know what happened to Ralph. Ralphie looks at with that not the mama face looks at with them big ears looks at her meg be lines to her they get into it and i'm like you letting this little boy unless he's like that little who um you know that little muscle bound boy who was like a 12 year old beast and now he's like a man and he barely lifts weight you know which what i'm talking about i don't want to say his name because i know you can't say that word or whatever she can't even choke him out. So they in a choke fest. And I'm like, if you don't roll on top of that boy, arm arm bar him or something. Like, put some stank on. You can't hit him one good in the face. No uppercut. No elbows. No nothing. Like, you can't. You you, you in the dark woman. See, you, if you had on some good shoes with some good traction, you could have ran. But you got on them cute loafers. Can't do nothing. Well, you can't kick properly with your loafers. You might as well should have kicked them things off and just went straight uh, jujitsu. Raw feet. Just raw feet. You know? The dad, Bradley, walks in and he's like, oh, what's going on? And we see it's just one little boy on the phone. She ain't choking the boy with the cape. She's choking the boy with the pajamas. And I'm like, okay, so what kind of mental disorder is this chick having? The PJs was on the ground and then she laughs. This bloody mouth, bloody nose laugh. But didn't the bathroom door slam? I don't know what was going on. Yo, that show's off the chain. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be here next week to watch the next one. It was interesting. Y'all drop a comment below what you thought about it. Shot crazy good. One room. Uh, whoever the actors was, whoever the actors were, Bradley and Ralph and Ralphie, if they were twins, whatever, whatever. Y'all drop a comment below. I'll talk to y'all next week. Peace.